life isn't always fair. But all of us want to be treated with fairness. It seems we were born that way. Before we can read or write, we know what fair feels like. We know what fair feels like. None of us had to be taught how to say, that's not fair. The first lessons we learn at home and at school are how to be fair. Everyone gets a turn, no cutting in line, share what you have, it seems so simple. Until you try to do it. Because even though we all want fairness, we don't always agree on what's fair and what isn't. Stripped down to its core, fairness is treating others the way you want them to treat you and knowing they will treat you the same way. It's playing by the rules, even when you don't win. Because the same rules apply to everyone. Life may not be fair, but the rules we live by must be. In America, fairness is the foundation of our laws. But you won't find the word fair or fairness anywhere in our Constitution or Bill of Rights. And there's a very good reason why you won't. Our founding fathers and mothers were smart. They knew it is impossible to define what's fair and what isn't in every situation. So they created one branch of government devoted to fairness, a third branch of government equal to the others, a branch whose one and only job is to decide what's fair. It is the judicial branch. It is made up of our nation's courts and judges, judges who don't represent one group or party versus another, judges who don't make decisions based on their personal opinions, impartial judges who apply the law without playing favorites, free from fear or sympathy or prejudice, free from the influence of special interest groups, free from emotions that fuel our country's most divisive debates, judges who don't bend the rules, judges who don't bend to pressure, judges who stand for one thing and only one thing, fairness. It isn't flashy work. Nobody ever went to a game to watch the referee, but there can't be a fair contest without one. It means making hard but fair calls and not letting the crowd's reaction change your mind. Because fairness has never been a popularity contest. And doing what's right isn't based on poll numbers. Throughout our history, Americans look to the courts for fairness. Today, Americans still go to court because they trust the judge will handle their case with an even hand, fair and square. They believe that while no one in America is above the law, all of us are entitled to the same law, guaranteed by fair and impartial judges. In this country, our courts are the great levelers, and our courts all men are created equal. I'm no idealist to believe firmly in the integrity of our courts. That is no ideal to me. That is a living, working reality. Harper Lee's words from To Kill a Mockingbird, spoken by Atticus Finch, are true. I have seen that reality. I have worked alongside judges and justices dedicated to defending the integrity of our courts. Even-handed judges committed to doing justice for all. Impartial judges who stand outside of politics and partisanship free from the influence of special interests or particular groups and causes. Because when a judge does what is right, according to the law, when a judge decides each case strictly on the merits, when a judge gives every case and every person the same treatment, our courts are what they have always been and must always be fair and free. America's courts are fair. Help keep them that way with an informed vote.